Johor Darul Tazim are hoping to keep their historic journey going in their first ever knockout phase encounter as they take on the two-time champions Urawa Red Diamonds in Saitama. Could an upset by JDT be on the cards in the round of 16, or will the Reds' experience be too much to handle for the side from Malaysia? Well, it's Urawa who get off to a feisty start and it's a feisty challenge in the box as well. Just seven minutes in, Matsuo fouled by Marlias and a yellow card would be handed to the JDT keeper. A penalty handed to the Reds and Alexander Schultz with the goal. The man from Denmark slots it home from the spot to give the Reds an early lead and they would keep on powering forward with wave after wave of attack. The Swedish frontman David Moberg there with a decent solo effort, missing the target that time but finding it moments later with a stunning free kick, curling it in off the post. Absolutely no chance for Marlias in goal and just like that, the side from Japan 2-0 up and in complete cruise control. 39th minute now. Urawa looking for a third before half time, and it's Moberg with a classy finish. Urawa absolutely dismantling JTT in these opening stages, and 3 0 up as we jump forward into the 41st minute. Urawa looking for a fourth and very nearly finding it. Moberg with a chance for a hat trick, but just can't sneak it in. At that far post, still a three-goal cushion at half-time for the Japanese side. 61st minute, JDT with their first real chance of the game, cleared off the line by Iwanami. The Italian Fernando Forestieri almost taking advantage of a bit of a uh, lapse in concentration there by Nishikawa in goal. And then Bergson, the big number nine, with a shot from distance as JDT are desperately looking for a way back into the game. Couldn't take their chances. Chances would unfold at the other end late on, though. And it's the late substitute from Denmark, Kasper Juncker, getting on the end of the assist from Esaka to make it 4-0. A simple pass and a simple finish. Well and truly putting the game out of reach. That didn't mean that Urawa were finished. The same two players combining again in injury time. Esaka for Juncker. And the journey comes to an end for JDT, while Urawa look like real title contenders once more after a dominant display.